bless the Lord Evangelist Rob here at Rob Woods Ministries. Thursday, 8 p.m. live on Zoom, we are going to do water baptism. Now, you just said, Brother Rob, how in the world are we going to digitally do water baptism? Because no one here is here to put me in the water. And is this even scriptural or biblical? Now, let me suggest this, okay? The water can't save you. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can. The thief on the cross didn't have a chance to get baptized, did he? But Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. So we're just, I'm going to lay this some scripture down and some foundation. Water baptism cannot and will not save you. There are certain denominations, the Catholic Church, etc., that believes that. But Acts 2.38 says, take it from verse 37. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, said to Peter, the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Verse 38, Acts chapter 2. Peter said, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So Monday night when I was live. 9 p.m. I'm live every Monday on YouTube. I was not even planning on this. Just came under an unction of leading. I said we're going to do water baptism live on the Zoom meeting. So this is how we're going to do this. Number one, if you've never been water baptized, first of all, you must be born again. I will not baptize nobody unless you know you're saved and born again. If you want to come on the Zoom and accept Christ or someone does, but they're not sure of their salvation, want, that's all different. Because the Bible says, be ye saved and baptized. Now, the dude in the chariot in the book of Acts says, why shouldn't I be baptized? Jumps off the chariot and go gets baptized. I don't agree that churches sometimes, people get saved, they have water baptism once, twice a year. I think they should do it more frequent. Why? When someone gets water baptism, by the way, which is symbolic, we go in the water, which is symbolic of being buried with Christ in his death. We rise to new life like Jesus rose in his resurrection, and we rise to new life like we've been born again. It's symbolic. But sometimes when people get water baptism, water baptized, excuse me, they can get delivered. The Holy Spirit can come on them or in them. The gift of tongues can manifest. Deliverance. Many things can take place because it's out of obedience. So we're going to do it like this. Mon uh, Thursday, 8 p.m. East Coast, New York. I will pin the ID and the passcode in the comments. If you've never been baptized ever or if you want to get re-baptized, which you can do that, by the way. It's just something you feel in it. Just feel to get re-baptized, like re-consecrate, re-dedicate, re-sanctify my life. Of course, you can't be born again and again and again, but you just want to recommit, go back to the first things, go back to your first love. We, you need to get to water. Come on, guys. Now, you, a bathtub, jacuzzi, <laughs> ocean, pond, lake. Uh, please dress appropriate. We don't have to elaborate on that. Now, if you can't, go in full immersion as I baptize people individually, then you can just fill up your sink, whatever, man, you know, your kitchen sink, and we'll say, Father, in the name of Jesus, do you believe that Christ rose, died again, etc., etc.? I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and put your head in the sink. Hallelujah. And I'm serious about this. I'm not playing a game. I don't know if it's ever been done digitally, but Praise the Lord. You know, I'm not there with you. You're not there with me. Now, if you want to be baptized in the comments or rebaptized, or you have questions in the comments, I need to know how many people want to do this in a sense. Because I need to learn, I need to know if I should extend the Zoom meeting to several sessions instead of one, because the program we have is only a 45 minute session. So it'll be 8 p.m. water baptism night, live Zoom. 
If you're not comfortable with people seeing you and hearing you, that's okay, hallelujah. But get baptized if you've never been. Here's your chance. I love you guys. The Lord bless you. Amen.